Hi, hello again. So today we're going to um, teach you on how you are going to download and install Octave in MacBook. All right, so if you're ready, let's open our web browser, preferably. I'm using Safari, so preferably just use Safari or any available web browser in your MacBook. You can also use Google Chrome. It doesn't matter. You can use Safari or Google Chrome for the web browser. And then after that, type in the URL, type the URL um, octave-app.org. Okay. And then press on enter. And then scroll down. Look for the downloads, the downloads link. Click on the downloads link. And you will be prompted to octave that app at downloads. Look for the current release or version of, of Octave for Mac OS. For this instance, for this case, we have Octave 6.2.0. So this is the one that we're going to download. Just click on the link and automatically it will download. It will go to our download folder. So let's just wait. All right, all right. So um, we have to check our download. Click on the down arrow for the downloads. We still have 36 seconds remaining for the octave to be downloaded. Once it is downloaded, you can find the file in the document or rather in the download folder of finder so click on finder finder will open okay open finder and then you go to downloads we're just waiting for the octave to be downloaded 20 seconds remaining 19 seconds remaining by the way, if you're going to download Octave, make sure that you have at least 2.51 gigabyte or 2.7 gigabyte of memory space. Because once, we're, once we install Octave, it will consume around 2.51 gigabyte to be exact. Okay, we're done. Now, again, you go to Finder, you go to Downloads, look for the Octave package, click on that, and click on, again. So, no, 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 it's double click. Double click on the package. It will open. Just agree on the licensing, Octave licensing. By the way, Octave is a freeware, free software. Meaning to say, you do not have to pay anything, but you can donate. You can donate to GNU so that they could make more software like this. Okay, agree. Click on agree. It will verify. Don't press skip. Don't press anything. Just wait for it. Okay. Now it will check the volumes. All right. So after checking the volume, we now have to click and drag the Octave application to the application folder of our MacBook. So click and drag. Click and drag Octave to Applications. 
here. It will start in a bit. So you can see a dialog box telling us preparing to copy to applications. It's now preparing to copy to application folder of MacBook. You just have to wait. Well, it will take at least 30 minutes to complete the um, transfer Octave software to the application folder of MacBook. We just have to wait for the transferring, for the copying to there, there. So it started, oh, it's about nine minutes. But actually, it's not really nine minutes. <laughs> From my previous um, experience, it took like 15 to 30 minutes. See, it's, it is increasing about 40 minutes. There are 15 minutes. See. Just a lot, just a lot, at least 30 minutes for it to be fully installed. Okay, just I'll just clear this one. Okay, I'll go back to, I'll just close this one. Okay, I'll just close the application. And close the finder. And just wait for the octave to be transferred, to be copied. So we are now in 1.25 gigabyte out of 2.51 gigabyte is what I'm telling you earlier. We need at least more or less 2.7 gigabyte just to be sure. So we're about a minute in fully installing our Octave. So right now we are in 2.42, 42 gigabyte of 2.51 gigabyte. So we still have to wait for five seconds. By the way, if you want more video tutorials about um about a certain software how to use that software how to download and install that software please comment down below i also included the link for the octave app and also for um the different packages of octave i also i also included that in the description below so just go there if you want to learn more about Octave, you can go to their to, to GNU website and simply find the package Octave. All right, we're done. Okay, we're done transferring the file to the application folder. So I'll just run my launch pad. And then launch my Octave. I'll just have to wait for it. Maybe I can close this one now. Okay. We'll just have to wait for it. By the way, if, if for some cases there will be a pop-up um, message telling us that Octave is not recognized by our MacBook. It's the time that we need to go to System Preferences, then go to Security and Privacy, okay, there, that's what I'm telling about, so uh, Octave is being blocked by 
our system because number one, it is not being recognized or the developer is not being recognized by our system. And number two, because uh, we didn't download it from the app store. So what we need to do is to give permission to Octave in order for us to use it. So just click on open anyway. Now, if this, if this doesn't um, work, we have to click on the lock, okay? And then we have to enter our password. I'm gonna enter mine, sorry, I almost forgot it. Okay, I'm going to unlock it. There, it's unlocked. Okay, we just select this one, App Store and Identified Developers. I think it's it's good to go. So I'll just close this one. There. Uh, Octave cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. So again, you go to System Preferences. You go to security and privacy. If you have encountered this type of message, error message, okay, and then unlock this one. I think we need to give it a privacy. I don't think so. I think this is not the correct uh, step here. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'm gonna go back to general. Yep, I'm going to unlock it again. Unlock. Okay, and make sure that App Store and Identified Developers are being ticked or being checked. It's not checked, it's ticked. <laughs> Anyways, just cancel this one here. Okay, once you cancel it, uh, from the system, system preferences, there will be a message Octave was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer, just click open anyway. Okay, and then you will have another message, Mac OS cannot verify the developer of Octave 6.2.0. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we want to open it. So click on open. It should work now, it should work now. There, it's working. So I can close now the system preferences window. Okay, so I have now the Octave GUI. There, there you go. So I can now start my, my computation. So let's say, for example, I want to compute for the sum of two and three. So two plus three, and then click on enter. So that will be on another video. Now, if I want to change the font size of, if you, I want to change the font size of my command window editor or my octave in general, I'm going to go to, to um the menu bar of octave so click on octave dash gui okay i'm gonna click it again octave come on here octave oh come on 
I think it is still loading. So here are now, while we are waiting for this to be loaded, so here are now the command window, documentation, variable editor, and editor tab of Octave. So let's go to the editor. So let's try to try to change the font. Well, maybe I could create another tutorial for that. As of now, we have installed um, completely and properly Octave to our MacBook. We have downloaded it. So as, as a summary, what we have done here is we downloaded Octave from the octave-app.org website, and then we install Octave and then we give permission to Octave in order for it to be used in our MacBook. So I think that's it for now. So see you in, see you in my next uh, video tutorial. Bye-bye. Oh, do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.